Welcome to round 4 We're about to join a match here We lost the die roll, unfortunately This hand, well this hand is okay It's not the best hand ever, but just You know, having a hangar back on turn 2 against some decks It's gonna be a real problem Not against white decks though, ooh Look at that, that's the mono white aggro deck Interesting Very interesting I feel like we are favored against them, but it's not that easy. <laughs> you know, just playing a hangar back walker turn two is gonna be. F Ooh, I guess it's not. <laughs> Won't be able to block that that guy then. All right, all right. Let's do this then. I wonder if we're gonna be fast enough here too. Yeah, that's not clear for me right now. Alright, well, taking 6, going down to 11 here. Right. So... What do we do? I guess we shall see. Uh, our options here are we could play another Hangar Back Walker and leave one mana here to uh, put a counter here and after blocks. The reason why I'm not doing that is because of the uh, Declaration in Stone. If he has it, he then blow blows us away. And this way we get to Dromoka's command. We get to block a creature and then Dromoka's command the other. And get three tokens for our problems. So yeah, this seems seems nice. Maybe he has the enchantment. Alright, he has the, the declaration in stone. So let's add a counter and then do this counter here, this fight that. We don't get a clue, but, you know, alas. At least we still get to block his 3-2 his here. Take only 2, go down a Nine. Ooh, he has something? No, he doesn't. Right. So now I'm, I'm, I'm actually feeling good about this. Let's see, we can play a Gideon, make a token, say go. Alright. Alright. If he attacks the Gideon... No, he's attacking me. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Double block. The problem is that he's gonna have... Alright, so... If he's... Ooh, look at that. If he, if he killed the, the Gideon token, that's better for me, actually. Because this way, I'm less succept susceptible to another declaration in stone. So here I'm just gonna try and get him with the the Archangel Avacyn has one card in hand which is good news for us attacking me right one two three four five alright so I'm blocking here and I'm blocking here So at this point, he is in trouble, obviously. I'm gonna play a second Planeswalker. Let's see if he has anything to do here. He's gonna sack a clue, and sack a clue. Right. So, let's play Anissa. No, not, not playing Anissa. First and foremost, I'm going to... 
yeah, let's transform Gideon, attack, let's see what he does, alright, he doesn't block, like a thought, and now I'm gonna do this, not playing the hangar back walker, we don't really need to, just leave mana for a hello moonlight here. Maybe he he has some so, some way of bringing a bunch of creatures onto the battlefield. Though I don't think so. All right. Let's see what else he's got there. I guess I'm attacking him with... Alright, Gideon. Maybe he's going to minus 4 the Gideon? No, he's gonna put a token. Don't think I'm attacking the Gideon, though. Oh, I could have... Yeah, that was that was very bad. Man, that was super bad. Anyway, he still had... Gotta do, do this to, to draw a card here. So, do I transform Gideon? I guess I could minus two this thing. Let's see, he has one card in hand. I guess I wanna kill his Gideon here. I guess I do, let's see. Let's plus one Gideon. Minus two, the Nyssa. Oh, I should have played this before too. Man, I'm playing badly here, but... <laughs> Uh, let's hit him, let's hit him, and him, and this, I'm gonna leave it back. And this, I, nah, I'm gonna hit, hit him anyway. He's gonna probably kill at least one of my guys here, meaning that I'll get to, to flip the Avacyn. Yep. It's not going to be as good as he thinks it is. Because flipping my Avacyn is gonna just kill him. Alright. Certainly not dealing damage to, to Gideon. And there we go. So. What do I bring in against him? A Limvala maybe? A Tragic Arrogance maybe? Stasis Snare? Perhaps. And certainly Declaration in Stones. Uh, I could take out uh, like one Oath, one Gideon. Taking out the Hangarback Walkers because Hangarback Walker is very susceptible to Declaration in Stone. <coughs> what else do we take out here? Uh, maybe we should have just one Tragic Arrogance. Don't want to draw into multiples. Although it is a great card. Can take out one Secure the Waste, I think. Yeah, let's see how this goes. This is a no... Yeah, I'm not sure how good this hand is. I mean, at least I will get to... I mean, I'm gonna play, right? If he doesn't come out against swinging, I'll get to... I'm not sure. Really not sure. I think I'm gonna keep it because I get to draw a card from this thing and I get to make him second enchantment with this. So let's hope we don't get pan punished here. Alright. <laughs> that's That's not good. Alright, that's better than a, a Thalia's Lieutenant, definitely. Right. Yeah, we need to join to stuff here. Griff's Boon, alright. Could make him sack the Griff's Boon, but that wouldn't do much. 
I mean, I don't even have a creature to fight right now. Jesus. At least he has no cards left in hand. Meaning that... Uh, if we draw into something... Yeah, we didn't. Man, that's that's very... very Unfortunate. I guess we should have mold, right? I mean... Yeah... So we're taking a bunch of damage here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think there's anything we can do here to salvage this. Yep, there isn't. One, two, th three. Yeah. Well, that was a bad keep. A really bad keep. And I guess I could take out a Dromacus command to leave more creatures here. And I guess I did not take out the Hallowed Moor. Yeah, man, I am. Super, uh, super bad that there, there for me. Hangerback Walker. Let's see. We could bring in a Caustic Caterpillar too. I'm not sure how good that thing is gonna be. Uh, maybe a second Tragic Arrogance. Now that I'm in the in a in a play. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe take out a stasis now. We could perhaps take out a stasis now and bring in uh, another tragic arrogance. I'm not sure how good that thing is, but I guess we'll see. Yes, I like to play first. And well, this is a mulligan, sadly. This is close to a mulligan, but I'm not mulling. Playing this guy turn 2 here is going to be a big deal, I think. Alright, this goes to the bottom. Let's play a canopy vista and say go. Alright. Okay. I'm, f I'm fine with that. Even though I don't think I'm gonna play it, because if he has the declaration in stone, then all right, he already played it, so I get to play my second one. Man, look at that! All right, let's hope he doesn't have another one. He did. Okay. Play a forest then, and say go. Then we get to sack two clues, and the next turn we get to to play an Avacyn. All right. Only lands, huh? Yeah, well. Play this, revealing this, and say go. Hope he doesn't have anything. Ooh, alright, that's certainly annoying. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to block this guy, I think. Alright, Avacyn number two. Let's see. The Canopy Vista, play a Fable Inspector, and say go. I would even jump with the Inspector if I need to. Because this will flip the Avacyn. Alright, so this means that he doesn't really have any good attacks here. Alright, Kithion and no good attacks. Oh, he is attacking. That's interesting. He's so gonna lose his entire board position next turn. I 
Yep. Alright. It's fine by me. And a tragic island. It's great. So let's go ahead and search for a planeswalker or something here. Alright. I have to settle for a Westville Abbey. We can kill him pretty fast here. Alright, there's an Anafenza. And that guy. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. Alright. So he's dead, isn't he? Six plus five, yes he is. Quite dead. Counter here, this fight this. And there we go. This is our third victory, so let's go to the final round.